Eichmann was born in Solingen, Germany. In his childhood, children would lend him a Jew for his skin color tendencies to be dark compared to the general skin color of Europeans. In his youth, he moved with his family to Linz, Austria, where he finished his basic education and began training in mechanical engineering without finishing it. During the economic crisis of the 1920s, Eichmann drifted from job to job as a day laborer, office worker, and travel salesman for vacuum oil. In 1932, at the instigation of an acquaintance, Ernst Kaltenbrunner, who would later serve as head of the Reich Main Security Office, the Reichssicherheitshauptamt, RSHA, Eichmann joined the Nazi Party of Austria and the SS. Eichmann cooperated with the Jew Rudolf Kastner by deporting many Hungarian Jews to Switzerland instead of being killed at Auschwitz. In August 1933 Eichmann joined the Austrian Legion represented by the Bavarian Association of Unemployed Nazi Party Members from Austria. There he participated in military training in a few months. In 1934 Eichmann, then a SS Scharfier Gauisha, joined the main office of the Sicherheitsdienst, SD, Hauptamt, Sustainable Development, and continued to work in this organization until it became part of the RSHA in 1939. In the mid-1930s, Eichmann worked in office E112 of the security apparatus, which aimed to monitor Jewish activities, dealt with Zionist officials and also made an inspection tour of Palestine in 1937. Eichmann's effort to organize Jewish Zionist immigration from Germany by all available means prepared him for other activities in the future. In 1937 he left for Palestine to study the feasibility of deporting Jews from Germany to Palestine, and his failure to obtain an entry visa from the British authorities prevented him from entering Palestine. Then he went to Cairo, where he met one of the members of the Haganah organization. And he also met with the Mufti of Palestine, Haj Amin al-Husseini. In the end, Eichmann wrote his report that contradicts the idea of deporting Jews en masse to Palestine for economic reasons and in opposition to the idea of establishing a Jewish state with Nazi ideology. After Germany annexed Austria in March 1938, at a time when Eichmann led a police campaign against the offices of the cultural Jewish community, Eichmann worked to organize a central office for Jewish emigration Zentralstelle für Jüdische Auswanderung in the capital of Austria, which officially opened its doors on August 20, 1938. According to internal estimates, the office established the main aim was to facilitate the emigration of 110,000 Austrian Jews between August 1938 and June 1939. The office had succeeded in forcing Jews to emigrate by establishing an ideal model called the Vienna Model, a Reich Central für Jüdische Auswanderung Central Office for Jewish Immigration. Eichmann commanded the headquarters at the beginning of October 1939. He was less successful in this task. Especially when deportation of Jews began to compensate for immigration as a plan to make Germany free of Jews. In this regard, Eichmann played a very important role. In the summer of 1939, Eichmann became responsible for the deportation of Czech Jews from the Protectorate of Mimia and Moravia, which had been, he seized it previously, and established a new main office for Jewish immigration in Prague, according to the Vienna model. Immediately after the outbreak of World War II, Eichmann made the first attempt at mass deportations from the German Reich. He also organized the deportation of about 3,500 Jews from Moravia and Vienna to Nisko near the San River in the occupied Polish region called General Government. Although the problems associated with deportation and changes to German laws were Eichmann's chiefs, they were pleased with Eichmann's efforts and the future role he would play in deportations. After the establishment of the Reich Main Security Office in September 1939, 
Eichmann moved from his position in the security service to the Gestapo in Branch IVD 4, Raumungsangelegenheiten, of the Reich Main Security Office and in Branch IVB 4, Judenreferat, in March 1941. In October 1940 he organized Eichmann with Office IVD 4 the deportation of about 7,000 Jews from Baden and Zarpwaltz to French non-occupied territories. In his position within Branch IVB 4, Eichmann played a central role in the deportation of more than 1.5 million Jews from all over Europe to killing centers in occupied Poland and the occupied Soviet Union. In the fall of 1941 Eichmann, as commander and colonel of the SS and branch IVB-4 of the Reich Main Security Office, participated in discussions of the program to exterminate European Jews. Eichmann was in charge of the affairs of deporting Jews from all over Europe to killing centers when the head of the Main Security Office, Reinhard Heydrich, forced him to prepare a lecture for the 1C conference where the staff of the Reich Main Security Office advised government institutions and the Nazi Party on affairs and the Final Solution programs. Eichmann also linked these programs to his network of employees who helped him carry out deportations in German-occupied territories and in the Axis powers. Among those men around Eichmann, Eichmann's men, his delegate Rolf Gunther, Alois Brunner, Theodor Daniker, and Dieter Wesselsini. In 1942, Eichmann and his men organized the deportation of Jews from Slovakia, France, and Belgium. In 1943 and 1944 the Jews of Greece, Northern Italy and Hungary were deported. But only in Hungary did Eichmann work directly in the process of deporting the Jews. From late April 1944 and six weeks after Germany occupied Hungary, until July. Eichmann and his collaborators deported some 440,000 Hungarian Jews. After the war edit Eichmann escaped secretly to several countries until he settled in Argentina under a new name and a new personality. Away from any appearances that might expose him or reveal his true personality, until 1960 when Mossad agents arrested him and transferred him to Israel, where he was tried. Convicted and hanged in 1962. Then his body was cremated. The ashes were thrown into the Mediterranean.